Hello, and welcome to the St. Pölten UAS MS Teams walkthrough. MS Teams is Microsoft's collaboration app built for hybrid work and people and teams to stay informed, organized, and connected. The UAS currently uses MS Teams as its platform of choice for distance learning and online meetings. Therefore, we have prepared this short video of the most important basic functions. For any deeper insights into MS Teams, please refer to the online manual, which you can find on the Skill homepage. You can use MS Teams either as an app installed on your computer or simply in a browser. We strongly recommend you use the downloaded version because otherwise some functions will not work. This is completely free for you when you use your UAS credentials. And by the way of warnings, here is another important warning. Even if you manage assignments in and upload study materials to MS Teams, please always save these on the eCampus for students to have eternal access to them. MS Teams will delete materials after some time. This is what you see when you open the MS Teams desktop client. If it opens in the German version, click on your profile picture, then Manage Account to open the settings. With the item General, you can then change the language for the app and for keyboard shortcuts separately. You have to close and restart MS Teams for the language change to take effect. By default, the Teams view will be this grid view. If you have many teams, it might be advisable to change this to the clearer list view by clicking Switch View. The most important features of MS Teams are Teams. You can join people in groups to collaborate on projects, teach classes, have video conferences, or for whatever other reason a group might want to be connected online. In a group, you can create various subgroups or channels, upload and share files, post assignments, and other. When you click on a team, the general channel will open. To see other channels, you have to click on them. To add a channel to a team, click on the three-point menu and select Add Channel. Calendar. The calendar function, which is synchronized with your UAS Outlook calendar, helps you organize your and your team's work and online meetings. Here you see your meetings and other events, and you can schedule new meetings, either by clicking into the grid at the appropriate half hour, or by clicking on New Meeting at the top right. Chat. You can message with single persons or groups for work or privately. Activity. Here you can see various recent MS Teams activities such as chats, messages or meetings. To learn more about MS Teams functions, please refer to the online guide. Searching for persons. In whichever segment you are, you will always see the search bar at the top. You can search for people by their first names, their last names, and even by their matriculation number. Once found, you can send the messages or invite them to an audio or a video call. Scheduling a meeting for a channel. There are two ways to schedule a meeting for a channel of a group. Firstly, as shown before, you can do this in the calendar view, or you can go to the Teams view and go to the Meet selection menu at the top right. Meet now immediately opens a meeting schedule a meeting, plans the meeting in the calendar. When in a meeting, you can manage various settings. The cogwheel symbol opens the settings. Most importantly, you might have to manage your devices, the audio in and output, and the camera. Toggle camera and audio on and off. Click on the camera and the microphone symbols. Chat with participants. The speech balloon symbol opens a chat window on the right. Here you can communicate in writing. React. By clicking on the face with the raised hand symbol, the live reaction. Choose between thumbs up, a heart, applause, laughing smiley, surprise, and raising your hand. This is just like raising a hand in a classroom. Choose a background. If the room you are in is inappropriate, untidy, or too personal, you can blur it or choose a preset background. You can also upload a background of your own choice here. Recording. You can record sessions so that they will later be available for reference and study. But beware, you will only be able to record meetings that you have created yourself 
or that at least have been started by a person with administrator rights, which are lecturers or IT service personnel. Otherwise, the record function will be disabled. Click on Start Recording to start the recording. You can click away the disclaimer. Lecturers are allowed to make recordings even of students and to use them for educational purposes. Students are not. End the recording with Stop Recording. Transcription. A transcription will also automatically be started. You can also show the transcripts on the right or turn on live captions, which will insert the transcript as subtitles. Attendance list. After ending the meeting, you can download an attendance list. You can now download the transcript, the attendance list and the recording. The recording is available in the file section of the meeting chat or on your UAS SharePoint from where you can distribute it by downloading or sharing the link. Share your screen and content. Besides seeing at least avatars and being seen, you have various options for sharing your screen and content. Access the sharing options by clicking on the arrow in the screen symbol. When sharing content with audio, you need to include computer sound. These four symbols allow for different layouts of your shared screen. Furthermore, you can choose between sharing your entire screen or only a specific window. But beware, when sharing your entire screen, everyone will see everything you do and see when you browse your windows. Here you can activate a whiteboard for everyone in the meeting to use. If you want to show a PowerPoint presentation, you can also upload it to the MS Teams media and then open it from there. By sharing a presentation this way, your audience can browse through the slides on their own. Disable and toggle this by clicking on the little eye symbol. End the presentation by clicking Stop Presenting. Create breakout rooms. If you are the organizer of the meeting and you want your audience to split up into subgroups for certain assignments or discussions, click on the square in the square symbol to open breakout rooms. You can create up to 50 breakout rooms and you can either assign the participants yourself or have MS Teams assign them randomly. Once open, you can create more rooms or delete some. And you can make announcements into all rooms by clicking the speaking tube symbol. And you can set a time limit for the breakout session. Of course, MS Teams has a lot more to offer. Please refer to the online manual for more details. Support. If you have any questions or need support, please refer to the university's IT support for technical issues or the Skills Center for educational questions or issues with MS Teams.